feel like falling over. morning ladies and gentlemen oh my god it is early but today is the day that we are driving the audi rs3 sportback so i've got all of the uk media information and i've oh what a lovely night's sleep i think i got to bed at about one o'clock after i edited and made sure that the video was uploading so that the daily vlogs were still continuing on the same pattern that I've been trying to do for, um, well, the last two weeks. And so far, the weather's quite gray. And we are out for breakfast. And there is six RS3s out here. It was difficult to get them on camera, but let's get them on camera today. Three in Sepang Blue, all with the uh, night pack by the looks of it, because they've all been de-chromed. Breakfast is served. This is the French corner. I assume that is all of the uh, cooked food. Where's the meat? Where's the meat? Where is it? Find it. There's the meat. That is good. <laughs> Warming them up. So we've checked out these ones, but there is another secret car park that has all the other RS3s in. So we're going to go and head over there and have a look at the other colours. See if they're any different to these ones. They've all got the diamond cut with red sport brakes and um, the black night package as well with the tints, the D-chrome and on the front as well they've also got the Quattro grille which look insane, these cars look so aggressive and I love the Audi S3, I think the gearbox was fantastic and it was stupidly fast no idea what this is going to be like but I'm filming on my Sony Handycam as well so that's the full review of the Audi RS3 or the full first drive of me driving the RS3 is going to be live on my channel just after this video I'm behind the wheel of an RS3 and I'm revving it which is standard we've got awesome sporty dials boost up to 180 even though this car is limited to 155 and we are going to cruise over we've got drive select comfort auto dynamic individual oh, did you hear that oh, oh. Oh. right i'm here with darren from yeah. car throttle and i've just put it in dynamic <laughs> He's not in dynamic. Yeah, <laughs> Put it in dynamic. Put it in dynamic. <laughs> so, we're in the um, RS3. And we're just revving it because it crackles and pops. <laughs> Give it a Fast. So we're having a driver swap. What a awesome car. We're filming with my video camera as well where I sort of give my first impressions of this car. Um, but yeah, we're doing a driver swap. You like it, Tom? This is insane. I think I've done enough gear changes on this car for an entire year. Because it's so tempting to just go down again because you get a crackle and pop from the exhaust system. Absolutely incredible. Now Darren is uh, being the race driver <laughs> down these country lanes. We're lost basically. And we're trying to make up time apparently. <laughs> I'm losing everything. You feel it's secure? Yeah. We 
We have arrived in one piece. Your We're here. Thanks Google Maps. We are here. To the hill climb and Audi have bought a selection of other cars that I can't drive <laughs> because I'm not old enough still. RS6. RS7 with the carbon pack. RSQ3 and an RS4 and they're all going to be available to drive up the hill climb but for me they're all going to be available to be a passenger in. You ready? I'm terrified. <laughs> bring on the launch, bring on the launch. Is the launch engaged yet? I feel like Formula One. <laughs> Honestly, not ever had a better day. So we're doing the hill climb. We've got the hill climb completely all day until about three o'clock. And we can also take cars out and do a bit of our own driving on the actual road. See, mine sounds better than that. Mine's got the crackle. I'm just gonna put the window up so that maybe the sound be a little bit better but we have just had a fantastic hoon we've had national speed limit on some fantastic B roads and I think the other RS3 behind has been sort of left for dust <laughs> I can't believe the driving that um, we've just had the, the cornering this car is unbelievable the Quattro system is so intelligent and every single wheel is just always transferring power to make sure that you've just got the ultimate grip. And to be honest, in this weather, when it's this hot, oh my God, the tires are the perfect temperature. The tarmac is pretty much the perfect temperature. You've just got so much grip and it just, you just point it in the direction and it goes. And now the RS4 is wiggling its ass. We've set up a little photo shoot after having a awesome drive through some of the country roads. We're going to be heading back to the hill climb in a bit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm now cruising back. I don't think we're far, but um, I've run out of fuel. We've got all of the cars here cruising. I'm now behind Tim, who has changed to the RS6, but we've got three and a half miles to get back to our hill climb. <laughs> and I've run out of fuel, so I'm gonna cruise back in comfort mode. The hill climb has finished, and we're driving back the um, RS3. Hello. <laughs> Back to the hotel now. Our estimated time of arrival is half past four and our train is at 20 past five. So it gives us four, 50 minutes. Tom filled up. It gives us 50 minutes to um, get our train and head back to central London. Back in the A8 now, heading back to the train station. Once we get the train into Paddington, Paddington to Watford. Watford home. Edit the video. So that was the quickest train journey ever from Kemble back to London Paddington, 
to Rickmansworth rather than Watford because I got on the wrong train which went to Amersham rather than Watford. Um, so now I'm in the um, Fiat 500. But I hope you've enjoyed this daily vlog. What an insane day and the videos to follow, honestly, ridiculous. I was really able to push on with that car. Had a fantastic time also with the other RS models. Unfortunately, didn't get to drive them, but that didn't mean I wasn't allowed to have fun with them. So an unbelievable day. Huge thank you to Audi for allowing me to come down and film and enjoy the new RS3 along with the other models. And um, that is it. I will see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. I'm heading into London and honestly, if you thought today's vlog was good, tomorrow's is going to be even better. The car that is supposedly coming into central London is amazing. I cannot wait. So I'll see you then. Cheers guys.